I just uh, go ahead and present a little problem that I get pretty much weekly. Um, and uh, if you guys would like to go ahead, I'll share my screen real quickly here. Are you able to see my screen there at this moment? So this is a little different editor than what he's using, but yet many of the same things are there. And uh, our graphic artist usually comes up with some sort of theme for the introduction for our particular service. So some images for this. This was an Easter service. So obviously it has uh, some of the symbolisms of the crucifixion as well as the empty tomb in this particular case. So uh, three images in this case. In this case, and I'm thinking about cases like where we have like a Toastmasters logo or something like that, and something that's not animated, how can we give it motion so it's attractive? So here's another shot here. This is, has some overlay to welcome people to the particular service. And then this is the actual title of the sermon being given in this particular case. Now this is a Corel Video Studio in this particular case, and it has the ability to do like an animation. So for example, uh, you can just have a particular image in here. I don't know if I actually have the animated version of this. Yeah, I think this is it here. So it has the tools are required to be able to animate a logo and move it through space. Uh, you can actually go in and set an X and a Y uh, coordinates for that, and it will um, use what they call keyframes to go in between that. By the way, this has uh, you know the in and out uh, cuts that you were talking about in there built into that. So it's, you can see a lot of the same things. This is the timeline down here. These are the pictures that are there. We'll go back to the original ones here. and. Uh, so how um, I just wanted to open this up for discussion to see how you guys thought I might wind these three images into an opening sequence. And then we'll watch it on the timeline to see what actually happened here. And I'll give you a hint. Uh, we talked about transitions a bit and Marvin's trends, um, a particular thing. We used a lot of transitions in this particular one. You can see these, uh, these brown zones here uh, where uh, are all transitions. Uh, through this particular time. Plus, uh, one of the nice features of this particular one is it has this feature called auto music in here, and you could actually have it generate a music score for you that's non that's royalty free, that uh, you, uh, can be set to almost any length in this particular time. So, what would you guys think if you were given these three images? How might you animate that? Merlin, did I see your hand raise? Oh no, okay. Any thoughts about that? So how would we engage the audience and tell a story with just these three images? Well, in this particular case, what I did is I actually created another image using a photo editor here, and that's this dark image here. I made it monotone and then colorized it, so it makes it look like it's at night in this particular case. I also added a cricket soundtrack down here in this particular area down here. So this is kind of how that would play, and you can see how, uh, how this might work for the opener. I'll go ahead and run this here full screen for you. So that kind of warms people up uh, before that. Hopefully you're able to see and hear that in that particular case. Yeah, so that's taking three still images in this place using animation tools and uh, a little bit of uh, work with uh, image editing and uh, creating a presentation out of that. That was only 30 seconds long, but it kind of engages everybody. And again, in this one, you can you can see that this has the timeline, the audio tracks, uh, the video tracks, and you can see the pieces as they're all put together here. So uh, yeah, you can go ahead and see uh, what, what's happening at each particular point in, in those transitions during that time as well. So thank you very much. That's my technical, my little uh, tech moment for a moment, and I hope you'll find something useful in that to maybe animate your club's logo or signs as well. Thank you. Game over.